now. NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, it's odd that we're talking about spring, especially when we've been getting all this snow. Yeah, what's today? March 6th? So the next couple of days, 7, 8, 9 will be more like January. Mm. 7, 8, 9. So just a slow start to winter, but it is certainly here now. We had a nice shot of the moonrise over Peachum, the red barn there. Uh, Drew Bressel took that picture, so nice shot in the Northeast Kingdom. And then look at this one. I grabbed this one earlier, that bluebird sky at the top of the Forerunner Quad. I didn't realize it when I took it, but you could see the wind was blowing those drier snowflakes around that have been scraped off in the last couple of days, but it was a, a beautiful day today, especially with that snow we got over the weekend. Speaking of snow, the snow stake on Mansfield is now up to 64 inches. That's only four inches below average. So after a whole winter that's been way below and not so great, there we are right up where we should be for early March standards. So no snow out there right now, but the clouds are increasing. One, because of this snow down to our south and west by Binghamton, the clouds extend farther out from it. But we've also got a little area of low pressure backing in from Canada, and that's going to help to squeeze out some snow, a couple inches of it in the mountains, especially tomorrow, but also as we push into Wednesday and Thursday. So still clear on the piles of snow from the weekend on Church Street, and it's windy too, sustained at 13 at least at the airport. So the wind chill is down to 21 as of last check. So impact weather, especially tomorrow in the higher elevations, four inches or more. That's the thinking for the northern greens and northern Adirondacks. And then Wednesday, Thursday, just not as much, mostly snow in the air, probably a few inches at J, but it snows there all the time. So right now we've got a 33 in Plattsburgh, down the road a 35 in Springfield and you can see the clouds coming in on Futurecast snow kicking into gear a little after sunrise tomorrow morning in the mountains and it just is very persistent through the day not very heavy but when you have 24 to 48 hours of it it will eventually add up in those areas and Wednesday brings more of the same not really much sun I think Thursday's cloudy as well so if you're looking for the next sunny day have to have some patience not really here until Friday now this snow map just includes what happens tomorrow because most of it is tomorrow, but notice the band here between Ellenburg and Malone. So if you're traveling in that direction, it's likely snowy, not very snowy in Plattsburgh or Westport or Ticonderoga, but likely a few inches in Lake Placid. And then certainly the core area of the snow is going to be north and western portions of Vermont uh, as the air gets backed up to the Green Mountains. So even over towards St. Albans, a couple of inches of snow possible. Burlington, probably snow in the air, but not really adding up that much. Rutland and Bennington counties also a dusting to two inches. So here comes the five day forecast with clouds all the way through Thursday. Friday looks good 36 and then we're back closer to 40 for the weekend. 40 even by Monday of next week and we change the clocks ahead, lose an hour of sleep on Sunday. Alice? All right, Tyler. Thank